In this video, we're going to look at practical strategies for factoring polynomials. When we talk about factoring polynomials, we're, we are referring to polynomials that have integer coefficients. And we're looking for polynomials that have integer coefficients that multiply together to give us the polynomial we're trying to factor. So in other words, factoring polynomials is undoing multiplication. And in fact, we will understand how to do how to factor polynomials because we understand how to do multiplication. The distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction says that some a times b plus a times c minus a times d. So here's an example. Our first thing is to look for a common denominator in each of these, a common factor, the greatest common factor in each of these terms. Now there's an x cubed in each one of these, so we could factor out x cubed. You might notice that there's also a 6 in each one of these. 6 will go into 36 6 times, 6 will go into 1, and to 6 1 time. 6 will go into 210 35 times. So we'll be able to factor out a 6x cubed and we'll be left with a 6x squared plus x because we are able to factor out the 6 and we are able to factor out 3 of these uh, x's out, minus 35. And we know that this factored properly because 6x cubed times this is 36x to the 5th, 6x cubed times this is 6x to the 4th, 6x cubed minus 35 is 210x to the third power. Strategy two again comes from knowing something about multiplying. If we had a plus b times the sum of c plus d, then that would be a times c, a times plus a times d, plus b times c, plus b times d. So if we were asked to factor AC plus AD plus BC plus BD, we, we could do that in the following way. It's called grouping and factoring. So let's group this like this. And then here we'll factor out an A because that's a greatest common factor. A times C plus D. And here we'll factor out a B we'll have a C plus D. Now don't get confused here. Don't think that, you're, that you've actually factored here. We factored pieces, but this, but this is not a factored result. A factored result would be a collection of factors multiplied together. And last of all, what we're doing here is this addition. But in this case, there's this term, C plus D, that is common and can be factored out. So we'll be left with an a plus b times the c plus d. Sometimes when we have a four-nomial, that is four parts added together, four terms, we can sometimes group and factor. Many times the uh, polynomials that you'll be asked to factor are going to be quadratics. We're going to call an easy quadratic one that has the number 1 as the leading coefficient. So here's an example of an easy quadratic. Notice that it's 1 times x squared. We know that we get a, an easy uh, quadratic if we multiply two easy linear functions. We know how to multiply these out. This is going to give us an x squared plus a dx plus a bx plus a bd. Then these two like terms add up. Plus, I'm going to write those in alphabetical order. b plus d x plus bd. 
So when we're trying to factor something like this, we're looking for a B and a D that multiply together and give us 6 and add together to give us a 5. In this particular case, the answers will be an X plus 2 times an X plus 3. Strategy 4 is a generalization of strategy 3 and is particularly important to understand. Let's consider what happens when we multiply two general linear expressions together. AX times CX is going to be ACX squared plus ADX plus BCX plus BD. You'll notice there's some like terms here that we can combine. Now notice something interesting here. The A, C, B, and D are all factors that end up in the leading term and the trailing term. And A, C, A B, C, and D are all factors that end up in here as well. As an example, we'll factor 6x squared plus x minus 35. We know that this 6 is going to be made up of an A times a C and that this, that this 35 is going to be a B times a D. So let's consider what AC times BD is, but let's factor it completely as we go. The 6 factors completely as a 2 times a 3. The minus 35 factors as a minus 1 times 5 times 7. Now we need to take some of these factors and call them to be B A B A D and some of these factors to be B B C so that when they add up, they add up to be 1. So I have to use all of these factors, put some of them over here with A D, the others over here. This will be a 15, this will be a minus 14, that will add up to be the 1. Now, now we know all the parts to this line. We know what AC is, it's 6. We know what AD is, it's 15. We know what BC is, it's a negative 14. And we know what BD is, it's a negative 35. So this object that we're trying to factor, this quadratic, can be rewritten like this. That can be grouped like this. Now be careful with how you're using these parentheses and these minus signs. So what we're doing at this point is factoring this four term expression by grouping. In this first grouping we can factor out an X. It's a common term. And we can factor out a 3. This second grouping has a 7 as a common factor. And we now have this common factor in each of these terms. So we get the result 3x minus 7 times 2x plus 5. 